Okay, another quick revision uh, exercise activity, whichever you want to call it. Okay, we're going to look at uh, the VAT account. Obviously, you're going to have to reconstruct a VAT account in the bookkeeping controls assessment. And this is one of the areas where a few of you had sort of major problems. Okay, you've just got to learn what goes what side. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the VAT control account. So I'm going to draw out my T account below just so we can put what's on what side so you can see what I'm doing and work it all out. So it says here the balance of the VAT account at the start of the month. So we're told it's a credit. So we put the 18, get this right, 1876 on the credit side. Okay, because that's what we owe at the start of the month. It then says VAT from the sales day book. Okay, so VAT from the sales day book is money we collect and we owe HMRC. Because remember, VAT is a tax on sales. So we add that to the credit side. That adds to our liability to HMRC. So 1278. Obviously, I would write in the details in the VAT account as well, but the writing left-handed with the mouse is a bit of a problem for me at the moment, so I'm not going to do that. So it then says VAT from the Purchases Day Book. So Purchases Day Book, that is VAT, V-A-T, that we can get back. So that goes on the debit side. So we put £850 on the debit side of the VAT account. Okay. And what I should have done is put VAT. Or you might see VAT control account. It's the same thing. Okay, so don't get confused. Just because they've called it a control account for VAT, everything goes on the same side as just a normal VAT account. So it says VAT from the sales returns day book. Obviously, we haven't sold as much, so we don't owe HMRC as much as we thought we did. So the VAT from the sales returns day book, as you know, goes on the debit side. So one, one, two. That offsets the amount we did owe from the sales day book uh, because we haven't sold as much. Then it says VAT from purchases returns, 44 pounds. So this time, because we can't claim back the full 850 pounds that we've claimed here, the 44 pounds goes on the credit side to claim that money or to reduce the amount we can claim back. Then it says VAT from discount uh, from the discount allowed day book. Okay, VAT from the discount allowed day book goes on the debit side. So the £26 goes on the debit side. It says VAT next from the discount received day book. Discount received goes on the credit side. The seven pounds it goes on the credit side there and then it says VAT from cash sales well cash sales is the same as the sales day book it's money we owe HMRC so that goes on the credit side so 561 pounds goes on to the credit side then it says what will be uh, what is the balance balance of the VAT account at the end of the month all we have to do is balance the account. So if you look at it, you can see that the right hand side, the credit side is going to be the larger side. So we add that up and I can put my lines here now, add that up on the calculator and you should come to 3,776. So if it's 3,776 on the credit side, it has to be 3,776 on the debit side. So all we have to do now is take away 850, 112 and 26 from the 3,776, which gives me 2,700 and 88 and that would be my balance oops I'll just correct that I was going to write balance in there but I haven't got room to do it so it would be my balance carried down 
obviously that would be brought down onto the credit side that would be the, the amount owing to HMRC so in this case if we look at our list 964 it's not 2924 it's not okay 4764 it's not it's going to be 2788 which we've got here the carry down which will be brought down onto the debit side so our answer is D.